Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Mebelis and this is Literally Graphic. And today I wanted to highlight the short three volume series, That Blue Sky Feeling, a slow burn coming out story about a couple of high school students. Warning for a much older ex-boyfriend who pops up throughout and using women as cover. First published in book form in 2017, Blue Sky Feeling also started being published in English by Viz Media in 2017. I think it started life as a webcomic in 2008, question mark. It's been hard to track down as much details about the creator in English and the creative process than usual. Originally created by Okura, these volumes are illustrated by Komahashi and translated by Jocelyn Allen. This is website description of the first volume, to minimize spoilers, is as follows. When Noshiro transfers to a new school, he meets Sanada, a loner who doesn't seem to have friends, or want any. The other kids whisper that Sanada keeps to himself because he's secretly gay. But rather than scare Noshiro away, the rumor only makes him more interested. He sets out on a campaign to win over the surly Sanada, embarking on a surprise friendship. The art overall was pretty strong, with only a few instances of the Sonata character looking very odd. I felt like it really matched the tone of the story overall. Gender, as sadly usual, is a strictly binary affair. That said, we do touch on either end of the binary, and the representation of gay characters in Japan was very interesting. Not historically a huge fan of BL, I am trying to dip my toes in whenever I come across something that interests me. I've certainly read more than enough a slow realization of attraction stories from a hetero perspective to fill another two lifetimes, but as someone who was a repressed queer kid growing up, I'll probably never get tired of stories like that. What can I say? It's a bias. Not a huge fan of this sort of age gap for any gender combination. The persistence of this character, even as a side character, throughout the series was not surprising, but kind of annoying. As with most manga, race is not touched upon at all in this series. Class and ability and disability is similarly overlooked. I'm rating each volume in the series 3 out of 5 stars. Bye y'all, keep reading and resist white supremacy. And as always, Literally Graphic is recorded on the traditional territory of the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation and Anishinaabe people, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Huron Wendat Nation. I live here because of British colonization, indigenous genocide, and more geographically specific, Treaty 13, also known as the Toronto Purchase, which was finalized in 1805 between representatives of the Crown and certain Mississauga peoples. This treaty was a lie and has since been broken many times over. Saying so reflects only my own small steps towards knowing the truth and does nothing for reconciliation.